Hello everyone. Welcome to Graphic Hunters. In today's video, I'm going to show you, how to easily design monogram logo. And the exciting news is that, all of the logo is designed with the same lines. I will attach the 6 grid in the video description, you can practice these logos on the grid. So after watching the full video, you don't never ask me, how many lines needed for your design, as well as you are able to design logo by any letter. So, make sure to watch carefully to the end, and then write in the comments section the most valuable information that you find in the tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. So let's start the video. These are the 6 logo letter. I will design these letter on the same grid. After watching this tutorial, you will also able to design your logo on grid. And you will never ask how many lines do you need for your design. So keep watching. First take line segment tool. And draw a line. Turn on the stroke color. Now copy the line by hold alter. And take total 14 lines by hold control and pressing D. Now select the lines and make it middle align center and group it. Now copy the lines for copy, go edit and select copy again, go edit and select paste in place. Now rotate it 90 degree. Again, select the vertical lines and copy it by press control C and control F. Go transform and rotate it 60 degree. Now make reverse of 60 degree lines, for that, click on right button of mouse, and select transform, select reflect, and copy it. Ok, that's good. Friends, this is the grid in which I will design 6 logos. The process are same, you just need to thinking about the letter. I reduce the stroke weight, because it make the grid light. Now select the grid, and make it group. And make total 6 grid for 6 logo. As you can see, I have organized 6 grid for 6 logo. Now I'm going to design these logo. So, for the first logo, I mean, HCM, we don't need the 60 degree angle. So I delete it. You can keep it, but there is no work of it. So delete is better than keep it, because unnecessary lines make design complicated. Now take ellipse tool, and draw circle equal to group hold shift. Copy the circle by press Ctrl C and Ctrl F. Make it one line smaller like that. Ok, that's good. Now select everything. And take shape builder tool, and swap stroke color to fill color. Now drawing these letter HCM like that. Carefully drawing, otherwise you can make mistake. Ok, I have drawn the first logo among the 6. Now move it above from the lines. Hold shift key, and select your design. And move it up of the grid like that. Now select the logo and increase the stroke weight to 2 pt because it will increase the beauty of the logo
Now go Object, and select Expand, and click on OK. Now go Pathfinder, and make it United. OK, that's good. Now I'm gonna design the second one. The second logo letter is V and D. For making D letter, we need curve line, that means circle. So first I take ellipse tool. And draw a circle within 7 lines. Keep the circle center like that. Now copy it by press Ctrl C and Ctrl F. And make it one line smaller like that. Again copy the circle, and make it small. Ok, that's good. Now select everything. And take Shape Builder tool, swap stroke color to fill color. Now draw V and D letter like that. Be careful while drawing on the lines. Now carefully fill up these gap like that. Ok, that's good, I have designed it. Now move it above from the grid. As you can see, there is a mistake, we did not draw this place, that's why I always remember you, while designing on grid, be careful. Anyway, we can easily solve the problem. First turn off the stroke color. Then take delete anchor point tool, and delete this anchor point. Ok, that's good. Now select the logo, and increase the stroke weight into 2 pt. I think, that's good to see. Now select the design, and go object, and select expand, and click on ok. As we can see, here few more problems are created. Don't worry, we can solved it like previous method. Now go Pathfinder, and make it united. Ok, that's good. Now we gonna design our third logo on the grid. The third logo letter is LGS. For making the logo, First we need to rotate the grid 90 degree like that. Now take Shape Builder tool, and swap stroke color to fill color. And carefully draw the letter LGS.
Now carefully fill up these gap. OK, I have drawn the logo on the grid. Now move it above from the lines. For moving the logo, you need to ungroup object. After ungroup, hold shift and select your letter and move it. As we can see, there is also a problem here. So we go back by press Ctrl Z. And solved it. We can also add something to G letter for more understanding. Now select the logo, and increase the stroke weight to 2 pt. Again select the logo, and go object, and select expand, and click on OK. Now go Pathfinder, and make it united. We can cut this part little bit by knife tool. Okay, that's good. Similarly, you can design all the rest. Keep watching.
So, friends here's our finished masterpiece. I hope you loved watching this design come to life. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more creative content. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or ideas for what you want to see next. Thanks for watching, and keep unleashing your creativity.